Hey guys, welcome back to your house fitness. Min here. Today we are going to talk about the subclavicus. The subclavicus is a tiny muscle. It's found underneath your clavicle, which is also known as your collarbone, and attaches to the very first rib. So you kind of can't really feel it. You got to stick your fingers under your rib, uh, collarbone to feel it, and between your first rib. What it does is primarily support the stability of your collarbone and the sternoclavicle joint, or the SC joint, during arm movement. So as I lift my arm over my head. The subclavicus will contract to make sure my clavicle is stabilized. This is because your clavicle is where your arm and its socket will actually attach to your skeleton. Primarily, your socket is actually floating on your ribcage and runs up through here into your collarbone and attaches to your sternum. So your subclavicle is pretty important for making sure your actual arm stays stable through different movements such as bench press, rowing, overhead movements as well. So a lot of times we don't really train the subclavicle in isolation, but people who have issues in upper body movements may have very weak subclavicus or very tight subclavicus. Uh, things you can do to open that up is exercise you typically use for pec stretching. Um, I love using the corner pec stretch. You can do banded shoulder dislocations, but anything that can open up your chest here will actually allow you to stretch and open up the subclavicus so you can get into different positions. People who may also have collarbone injuries, um, if you ever tore your, uh, separate your shoulder before, either your SC joint or your AC joint, you may have issues with your subclavicus. It may be very tight or very weak due to the damage that's been there before. Thank you guys for joining us.